the Myth Master has returned. Hello, fellow bookwesters! It is I, Aaron the Bookwester. Today, I have this awesome book to review The Trials of Apollo, book for the Tyrant's Tomb, the book that I, that I myself have been waiting for for almost a year. I mean, the last book, The Burning Maze, didn't quite satisfy my need for some classic Rick Riordan humor and plot. Well, let's get right on to it. Apollo, your fault, your punishment. That's what Zeus had said when he had been banished. Now, he had gone through a lot, lost a lot of friends. And now, him and Miss Meg, Meg, Meg McCaffrey, they, are the, they marched to New Rome where they must bury an old comrade, Jason Gray's former predator, Max, the hero of Olympus, one of the seven from the legendary prophecy, one of my favorite characters, son of Jupiter. He died in the burning maze, and now he is in being buried. One of the saddest, so basically, Apollo is starting to decipher his prophecy and his destiny. And he must fight the evil of the two emperors Commodus and Caligula. And those two emperors are marching to New Rome right now. And Tarquin, King Tarquin, the last king of Rome, with an army of undead zombies, is marching toward Rome, or New Rome, with an attack. Attacks of two fronts, an old strategy, and Apollo must find the sound of God and demand his sacrifice and bring down godly help to fight the two minor emperor gods, Caligula and our dear Commodus. Now, Apollo has a lot to do and meanwhile, she's being infected, as in she has danger of becoming a zombie. So, whoops. And, well, the gods, they are forbidden to help him. So, he's alone on this anyway. And the prophecy talks about the Bellona's daughter, Reina. And an unfortunate incident makes Lester fall and fall, have a crush on her. Could Lester, well, go through his love life and also save New Rome from destruction? I don't know, but what I know is two hilarious parts. The first hilarious, I mean, for two very important and one very hilarious part. Okay, the first part, the sad part, is when Apollo says the Roman funeral rites. He says, Come, my friend. Let us take our bro brother to his final feast. It's very sad and it brings back memories of me reading the heroes of Olympus going together with Jason for his adventures in the old books with Percy Jackson, Animus Chase, and the rest of the seven. And then the next part is when Reyna rejects Apollo. When Apollo announces his crush on Reyna, Reyna literally laughs it out, and Apollo is absolutely humiliated. And he said that someone, when he became god, had just topped his, his revenge list, and that was Venus, the god of love, also known as Aphrodite. You see, Aphrodite was the one who said, you better not touch Reyna. Reina and her complicated love life and well Apollo had obviously done just the opposite and now he found out that it's just a trick from Venus which is why Venus was going to get it anyway Apollo and Frank his great sacrifice but don't worry he comes back you'll know what I mean when the time comes this is a book that marks the return of Rick Riordan and, and many of his old beloved characters. Hazel Levesque, daughter of Pluto, one of the legendary seven. 
Jason Grace, who is dead, but also one of the legendary seven. Reyna, who plays a major role in putting together the Greek and Roman forces to find Gia or Gaia against the forces of monsters and evil. Frank, our dear shapeshifter friend, who managed to take a hold of his destiny. This is a great book, a must read that brings back the good old humor, the good old things of Rick Riordan. Great book, guys. And like always, your book quester and the book quester.